tubers, two bats, and of course my favorite collection of crazy people. Very short video coming up. This was going to be a private video. In fact, it was a private video until I said, nah, what the hell, I'll share it. It's my channel, I'll do what I want. <laughs> and so, in it, I'm just going to share with you some thoughts that I had about how my life here in the Philippines didn't change me at all, but where it actually took some twists and some turns to where it came to full circle of what I was originally looking for many, many years ago. So if you will, join me in the video and I'll see you there. So as I was sitting on my patio this morning, as I always do, and as I was reflecting uh, back on my life or my week or my day, as I always do, um, something just hit me like a ton of bricks that I hadn't seen before. And how, I guess the best way to explain it is I realized how my life had actually come full circle. And I'll explain to you real quickly and hopefully very concisely and without a lot of time, just what I mean. <clears throat> I look back on when I was in my 20s, 25 to 30s, at that stage of the game, I asked myself a question, and that is, what do I want to do? What do I want my life to be? Do I want to have some exciting kind of life where I'm always on an adventure, doing something dangerous like I see on TV? Well, no. <laughs> do I want to do this? Do I want to do that? And without bemoaning the subject, I had a very uh, dysfunctional and uncomfortable and somewhat painful childhood. I'll spare you the details, but to say it was ugly is pretty much on the spot. And I think as I grew out of that, obviously, and got on my own in my 20s and my 30s, what I really decided that I wanted was a second chance at having a house filled with a lack of ugliness, with a lack of um, dissension and stress and, and constant upheavals and walking on pins and needles or eggshells. And I just really said, you know what, I just want to have a normal life. I just want to have a little house somewhere with a good woman and maybe some kids and a couple of dogs. And it doesn't have to be a millionaire lifestyle, but I would like to have a good job and I would like to be able to provide for the family. And then when I come home, I'd like it to be joyful. I would like it to be happy. I would like there to be a companionship where uh, me and my wife or significant other, we had each other's back. We had the same goals. We had the same desires. Um, are we going to get along all the time? No. Are there going to be ups and downs? Yes. But we'll go through them together and hopefully find someone that can laugh at the problem or at least grin and bear it and not let it take us all the way down. Just get through it, do our best to be grateful for what we have and then again just try to have a light attitude throughout the house. Love, harmony and all that's a good thing but for me just joy and mirth and uh, the ability to laugh at ourselves and each other and ourselves is means the, the world to me. Well, that didn't happen. <laughs> when I got married, it was back to childhood 101. We were, we were at each other's throats and all this ugliness was going on. Uh, I won't bore you with all the gory details. You know the drill. You may have been there and done that yourself, maybe more than once. I don't know. So anyway, those days were over, and then it came time for me to retire, and I bugged over here to the Philippines because 
it was the most viable option for me financially. Again, I won't bore you with things that I've said in previous videos. Just take my word for it. This was the way to go if I didn't want to work anymore. And I didn't. So I came over here and I thought, well, I'll start a new life. And I will, um, maybe I'll start to have some of those adventures that I avoided before. Maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll do that. And in fact, I kind of had a plan. I'm going to go see a bunch of islands and I'm going to travel more and I'm going to get out more. And I did that for a period of time. Um, but I found it not to be what I thought it was going to be. If I went from here in sleepy little Dumaguete over to Angeles City, it really wasn't that much different. And it had a different vibe to it. It had a different setup. If I went over to the island of Sikihor, or if I went to Cebu, it was, it was different, but it wasn't different enough. So it kind of squashed my desire to start traveling all over the Philippines, which I had thought was going to be my primary deal. And then I also had planned to travel to different countries because they're so accessible and cheap. So I did. I went to Indonesia, uh, spent about three weeks there. I went to Vietnam, spent three weeks there. And when I came back, I was glad to get home. I call this home. I was comfortable here. I was alone, but not alone. I had a lot of friends. I had a lot of acquaintances. I was comfortable within my own skin. I didn't have any drama because there was nobody here to inject it. And made my mistakes, but smoothed those over, was able to laugh at myself, and started a little life that was sort of immature for about six months, where I was out drinking and partying with people, and I was the sponsor, so, uh, you know, that meant I pick up the check. But to me, it was a bargain, because those nights out never cost me more, back then, more than a thousand pesos or 20 bucks. And then we were able to go out and have some drinks, go to the bars, do this, do that, um, laugh it up, this, that, and the other. And one day, after about six months, that just got old. Um, I guess it just was out of my system. I felt, when I first got here, like I'd gone back in time. It's like the 1950s out here in many aspects. And I almost felt like I was a teenager again. And obviously, I'm not any teenager. But that was the attitude that I copped and went through that little period of time. And I'm happy to tell you, I'm glad I did it. It was fun while it lasted, but it's still, it's just not me, you know? And so, now I fast forward. And again, I won't go through a bunch of hoo-ha that I haven't already said in other videos. But as I look around today, here I am, and I'm living in my little house, and I've got my wife, my life partner, and I've even got two little dogs, no kids, and the difference between the childhood and the difference between the marriage is that this is a house that's truly filled with laughter and good times. And there's very, very little contention between myself and my wife. Um, we're both very agreeable and very amicable towards one another. Um, we enjoy each other's company. Neither one of us feels we got to answer to the other. My wife will take off, go with her family for a day, and you know what I do? Half the time I go into town, I grab a cup of coffee, I might meet up with a friend, and I just come back home and play with the dogs. And so I can't say that moving over here to the Philippines, although I accomplished my economic goals and I accomplished um, some of the boundaries that I set for myself, I got the bonus of the contentment, the happiness, and the joy that I'd always, always longed for. So, at the end of the day, I never really changed. 
I feel that I just finally came full circle to what it was that I'd always wanted. I hope that if you're watching this and maybe you're having a tough time and you think there's nothing that you can do and your dreams are past and those times can never be repeated or you, you can't get there from here. I'm not saying that you will. I'm just saying that it happened to me. Um, my life is not perfect. The Philippines is not paradise. But for me, the contentment, the laughter, and the joy is plenty enough for me at this point in time. And I wish nothing but the best for you also. I'll see you in the next video.